rise to power movement, the building of the poor man's empire, one million. Cash app is on the screen, dollar sign R-I-Z-E-1-M. Hit the cash app, dollar sign R-I-Z-E-1-M. Support the rise to power movement, the building of the poor man's empire, one million. Poor man's empire. One million. I greet you, brothers and sisters, in the spirit of love, in the fruit of peace, in the unity of faith, believing in receiving. One million dollars is the quota for the investing of the little man rise to power movement, the building of the poor man's empire. One million. Now, we are in the season of election. Hmm? You got some folks talking about vote your conscience. Hmm? No, you don't need to vote your conscience. Hmm? You need to know what is going on. Hmm? Let me hip some of you people to what is going on. Hmm? You don't just go to the polls and get behind the curtains and let me vote my conscience. No, that's a little too late. You may make the wrong decision, hmm? but let me help you out. Hmm? Now, we do know that none of these candidates are pro-reparations. Hmm? So if we had to vote for a candidate who was pro-reparations, hmm, then we wouldn't vote for no candidate. Hmm? So all candidates are anti-reparation checks for the descendants of slaves. Hmm? But we're not going to follow the lead of some of these Negroes. Hmm? Tell me out, oh, you know, we're we going to sit this one out. No, we're not sitting nothing out, Negro. Hmm? You have been given a right to vote. So go to the polls and vote. Hmm? Now, if a candidate is coming out talking about uh, we can't give raises, hmm? because if we give raises, 
mm, it's going to cause inflation. Mm, we can't raise minimum wage because that will cause inflation to go up. Mm, that is the indication. That is a sign. Mm, that candidate is evil. Mm, you're voting for the lesser evil. The lesser evil would be the other guy. Vote for the other guy. Mm. Now, if a, a candidate come out talking about, you know, uh, we conservative, huh? that's a sign. That is an indication. Mm. Because many of the conservatives, mm, they conserve mm, not doing nothing for the condition of the poor. They conserve not to change the condition of the poor. Mm. So that candidate is evil. You don't vote for that candidate. You vote for the other guy. He is the lesser evil. Hmm? Now, if a candidate come out talking about uh, we're going to do away with Social Security, hmm? they're going to try to interfere with grandma's and grandpa's monthly benefits. Hmm? They want to what? Abolish Social Security. Hmm? Now, if a candidate come out with that type of talk, that's a sign. It's an indication. That candidate is evil. Mm -hmm. I suggest you to vote for the other guy. The other guy is the lesser evil. Mm -hmm. If a candidate come out talking about uh, what they be talking about, they talking about that uh, they are going to cut the Affordable Care Act. Mm -hmm. They're going to abolish Obamacare. Hmm? They're going to cut Medicaid. Hmm? And cut Medicare. Hmm? That is a sign. That is an indication that that candidate is evil. Hmm? You don't go to the poll and get behind the curtains and vote for that candidate. That candidate is evil. Hmm? The other guy is the lesser evil. So vote for the other guy. Hmm? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? You vote for the other guy. Hmm? If a candidate has come out talking about uh, Africa is a, what it is, that Africa is a mud hole and, 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 and it is a, what, what kind of country it is. Come on, y'all know what he said. Y'all know what he said. I want to keep it clean. I don't want to, I don't want to, want to spew no profanity out. I want to keep it clean. Hmm? I want to keep it clean. But you know what he said about Africa that Africa, it is a asshole country. Hmm? Now, if a candidate came out with this type of talk, hmm, that asshole don't deserve your vote. Hmm? No, he don't deserve your vote. Hmm? Did he say that? I know he didn't say that. If, if he said that, oh, he done lost my vote completely. He has completely lost. I know he didn't say that. Did he? Now, how is it Philip Scott, Tariq Nasheed, hmm, and this little young fellow they call Young Pharaoh, Right, and a host of others. How Captain Kazari, Captain Tazari, y'all, hmm? This Israelite Negro. Now, how could y'all be pro, right? Well, let, let's give Captain Tazari out. Let's give him a pass because he's not really pro African. He's not really pro African. But young Pharaoh, hmm, Philip Scott, every chance he get, he got a camera talking about what the black cops have done to the black man. They're always talking about what white folks have done to black people, right? But when you listen to this camouflaging Negro, this Negro is trying to encourage his followers. He's using his platform to try to get his followers to go to the poll and get behind, get behind the curtain. And you know who they want you. You know who he wants you to vote for. Hmm? Tariq Nasheed. Oh, they talk all this old black talk. Hmm? All this old African talk. Listen at his name. Tariq Nasheed. Listen at it. They talk all this damn talk, right? But if you listen to these brothers, these brothers is trying to encourage you to go to the polls and get behind the curtain and vote for, come on now, hmm? come on now, come on now. You know who they want you to vote for. They are camouflaged. Jesse Lee Peters, Larry Elders, Philip Scott, Tariq Nasheed. These are, camo these are camouflaging Negroes. These, well, we know Jesse Lee Peters and Larry Elder. We know they pro-white all the way. You got some Negro talking about the white hope. Hmm? Because there's no hope in the black hope. So this Nick Rowe talking about the white hope. Like there is no hope for no black man. There's no hope for the black man or the black race. The hope is for the white man. The white man is the white hope for the Negro in America. 
Now, you know that, that Negro done lost his mind. He has lost his damn mind, right? But Tariq Nasheed, Philip Scott, and Jason Whitlock, oh, Lord have mercy, Jason Whitlock, huh? He lost his job. He lost, I told my girlfriend, I said, this Negro keep talking about these Democrats, but he like he was pro-Democrats. When he was doing the little sports, he was pro-Democrats, right? I said, that Negro going to lose his job because he talked like he, he is in favor of Democrats. He kept speaking about Democrats, bringing up politics when he had the little sports program, right? They cut that Negro loose, and now that Negro is jocking Donald Trump. Hmm? That Negro is jocking Donald Trump, right? Come on now, any man in his morally balanced mind know that, hey, this man is immorally fit. He is inappropriate to be representing a president for the United States of America. You done lost your damn mind. Hmm? You done lost your damn mind. Hmm? You lost your mind. That's right. Hmm? So you got to be aware of these snake rows. Talk all this old black on black this old black talk and pro-black talk, but the Negro is going to the poll booth and getting behind the curtains, and he's voting for the candidate that wants to cut Social Security. He wants to cut grandma and grandpa's benefit. They must, they must have benefit. You know, you're just a little minimum wage worker. You know if they cut grandma and grandpa's benefit, you can't take care of your household and support grandma and grandpa at the same time. That's a burden on you. Right? But these Nick Rose in favor of this type of language, this type of talk. Hmm? Coming out, they want to do away with Medicaid and Medicare, the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare. Hmm? They don't want to raise minimum wage, right? Because they're going to cause inflation to go up. Hmm? You don't vote for that candidate. That candidate is evil. You got to vote for the other guy. He is the lesser of the evil of the two. Hmm? Do y'all understand me? Am I making myself clear? Hmm? This is the rise to power movement the building of the poor man's empire. Hmm? One million dollars is the quota. And this is not to heap it upon lust or to advance from poverty just to live a lavish lifestyle in luxury to be flossing in children. Hmm? No, that is not our primary reason for accumulating one million dollars to live a lavish lifestyle in luxury to be flossing in children. Mm, like some celebrity or celebrities, or like some of these hypocritical bishop, pastors, preachers, and teachers. Mm? No, that is not our primary reason for accumulating one million dollars to live a lavish lifestyle in luxury to be flossing in children. Mm? If you think that is our primary reason for accumulating one million dollars, then you have it distorted, twisted, and you have missed it. Hmm? But now let me clarify. Stop the talking. Let me clarify. Stop the talking. Let me make it crystal clear. Our primary reason for accumulating $1 million is for the investing of the little man rise to power movement, the building of the poor man's empire. We are accepting all contributions and donations from the least to the greatest, starting from those who are rejected and despised to those who are nobles, honored, and dignified. One million dollars is the quota for the investing of the little man rise to power movement, the building of the poor man's empire. One million. Hmm? Be merciful to us. And the most high God will be merciful to you. If you bless us, the most high God will bless you. Hmm? Remember, it is more of a blessing to give than to receive. Huh? Let every man give as he proposes in his heart to give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For the most high God loves a cheerful giver. Hmm? Now our cash app is on the screen. Dollar sign. R-I-Z-E-1-M. Hmm? Hit the cash app. Dollar sign. R-I-Z-E-1-M. Support the rise to power movement. The building of the poor man's empire. One million.
not if though they were speaking to poverty to be removed from this place and calling for prosperity to come to this place. Believe and receive. One million dollars is the point. But the entire thing of the little man brought the power of the building of the poor man's empire. We all accept all contributions and donations from the least to the greatest, starting from those who are rejected in this box, to those who are noble, honored, and dignified. One million dollars is the point. But the last thing of the little man robbed the power move, the milk of the poor man's empire. One milk. This is Yeah. 